A quick study in the way of God. The great condescension, the highness of God entering the stable of manhood. Now I want you to realize what I'm about to read to you is exactly opposite of the world's way. There is nothing reasonable about it to our minds. We think worldly wisdom. God's not talking about worldly wisdom. He's talking about being trained and corrected in accordance with his way. Jesus is his way. You can try and excuse your way and say, well, Jesus had to walk that way. That was his special rendition of life. No, it's the way. The way Jesus walked is the way. Paul walked in the way. Peter walked in the way. Every great Christian that is before us that we esteem walked in the way. That's why early Christianity was called the way. The great condescension, the highness of God entering the stable of manhood. And the angel said unto her, Fear not, Mary, for thou hast found favor with God, and behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb, and bring forth a son, and shall call his name Jesus. He shall be great, and shall be called the Son of the Highest, and the Lord God shall give unto him the throne of his father David, and he shall reign over the house of Jacob forever. And of his kingdom there shall be no end. Then said Mary unto the angel, How shall this be, seeing I know not a man? And the angel answered and said unto her, The Holy Ghost shall come upon thee, and the power of the Highest shall overshadow thee. Therefore also that holy thing which shall be born of thee shall be called the Son of God. Who in their right mind comes to earth this way? God could do it any way he wants. He's the way. And what you just read was the way. Highness, purity, majesty, everything that is marvelous and strikes awe within our souls. Condescend it to become a fetus. That is outrageous. Could you imagine the angel standing by and saying, hold it. Something's going wrong here. Someone messed with the script. That isn't how God Almighty should should be. He, he's, he's, in, he's in that little girl. Seemingly illegitimate. Announced by shepherds. Born in a little bedraggled town without any fanfare but what the shepherds saw. And the shepherds were the lowly of lowly in Israel. This is one bad plan. No, that's what you think. In heaven, this is the wisest course. It's known as the way. You see, this is how God does his business. And if you're going to start doing business God's way, you do it God's way. Sparganao, to wrap in swaddling clothes, omnipotence wrapped in weakness. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. You shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. Now, we've all heard this. This doesn't even strike a chord of interest with it. It's like, yeah, 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 yeah. He's sparking uh oh He's wrapped in weakness. It says he's wrapped in swaddling claws. God Almighty. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Let me get this straight. God Almighty is a baby wrapped in swaddling clothes. I uh, do you not know that you are the temple of the living God? The Spirit of God dwells in you, and once again, the Almighty God is wrapped in swaddling clothes. You! He's wrapped in you! This doesn't sound like a good idea. It's his idea, and if he didn't have the idea, you'd be a dead man. We have no hope outside of God's way. God chose the way to rescue us, knowing that without it, we were sunk. God come to earth as a little lamb, where the highness of God and the weakness of humanity intersect. God setting aside his almighty godness. God forsaking his fiery presence and his cloud of glory. God relinquishing the continual worship of the angelic multitudes. God purposely trading his almighty lion's mane for a lamb's woolly stature. God, who still was 100% God and knew he was God and was unabashed by the fact that he was God, gave up his reputation as the great I am and became one of no reputation. God, the master of worlds, the king of kings, the lord of lords, took on the form of a bondservant and allowed his ear to be pierced by his father in heaven that he would be bound to do nothing of his own will. God condescended to take on the swaddling clothes of humanity and is laid in a feeding trough 
as food for the starving multitudes. God functioned in the capacity of a mere man, unrecognizable as God, but God nonetheless humbled himself even further by becoming obedient to the point of death, even the horrifying and gruesome death of the cross. God actually died. God tasted the penalty of sin, the wrath of God, and the dreadful judgment of almighty righteousness. It's not the way we naturally are bent towards, it's his way. The other way, the way of the holy, holy, holy king. The way that is free and clean of all defilement, crimes, idolatries, and impurities, which is the actual definition of kadosh, which is the word for holy in the Old Testament. Okay, now, the unblemished lamb, not just a mere lamb that the Hebrew nation might have raised in its, in its sheep pen. The almighty lamb of God has come in all purity and wasn't just born as a baby, but was laid in a feeding trough and became a feast. It's the other way. It's not a way that any of us would choose. None of us are coming up with that plan. God, I have an idea. You are born as a little baby and you get stuck in a feeding trough in a, in a smelly stable. And then we'll make your body meat and food and we'll make your blood drink. And if everyone partakes of your body, then they can live. I love the idea. No, none of us would come up with it. This is absolutely off the charts opposite. We cry out in utter astonishment, struck with awe. We're staggered. We tremble. We fall down flat on our face. He's holy. It's at first a question. He, he's holy? His way is completely opposite.